ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದಿ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋತ್ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧು ಬೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲನ್ ಪಂಗುಲ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜಕ್ಕಿ ಪಾತ ಮಾಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ವಿಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವಭಕ್ತೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶು ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರೋನ್ಯ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಜನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೇತಾತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತುಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖ ಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತು ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗುರಸಾಗುರ ಸಾರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾ ತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಂಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀತಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे भुक्ति मुक्ति स्पृहा यावत पिशाची ही हृदय तवाद भक्ति शुकशात्र कथम अभ्युदयो भवे भुक्ति मुक्ति स्पृहा यावत पिशाची ही हृदय वर्तते तवाद भक्ति शुकशात्र कथम अभ्युदयो भवे भुक्ति मुक्ति स्पृहा पिशाची जा भुक्ति मुक्ति स्पृहा जावत पिशाची ही हृदय वर्तते तावत भक्ति शुकशात्रो कथम अभ्युदयो भवे गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर परमंश जगदी टोल्ड दैट दैट बाय गौरंग महाप्रभु व्हाट काइंड ऑफ उपदेश भक्ति भाव That कौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद हरमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वेन एट दैट टाइम एंड एट दैट डे पर्टिकुलर डे वेन वील बी फाइंडिंग वील बी फाइंडिंग आर सेल्फ अंडर द अनुगत्य ऑफ शिल रूप गोस्वामी पाद इट मीन्स दैट अनुग अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ शिल रूप गोस्वामी पाद जस्ट बाई डूइंग द अनुगत्य ऑफ शिल रूप गोस्वामी पाद that uh, with that all uh, with the, with that that we can understand the glorification of uh, the infinite glorification of uh, korang mahaprabhu if it will get manifested inside the heart of the jivas shila rup goswami pad just uh, by surpassing shila rup goswami pad just by sur- surpassing shila rup goswami pad whatever we will be doing that if it uh, definitely in our whole life it will all will bring in auspiciousness in our life we will be coming and our whole followers and all our family or uh, everyone will be getting in auspiciousness that's it shri la prabhupada actually speaking that uh, shri gorang mahaprabhu what acharan has shown to us that in order to just uh, give us the understanding and shri la shri la rup goswami pad that kind of actual bhakti ras what is actually established by gorang mahaprabhu that kind of bhakti ras in order to understand that if this kind of desire is there in order to understand that particular shuddh bhakti mai rasa in order to follow a shuddh bhakti in my life we just need to follow this kind of desire is there inside our heart then definitely we just be, you just become careful in this point shila bhakti vinod thakur ji is actually speaking they he is actually titled rupanu barayate चैतन्य शिक्षा अमृत महाप्रभु शिक्षा each and in each and every place where it is written that each and every place bhakti vinod thakur he is actually speaking about rupanugatya what is actually important for rupanugatya that kind of extreme bhav he is actually expressing if some different slightest deviation is not at all there but how we can get established in that by bhakti vinod thakur and prabhupad we are actually going away from him them what this is the actual question shila prabhupad actually speaking in this point that by bhakti vinod thakur that whatever kind of things are uh, what bhakti vinod thakur has just manifested in front about the shri rupanu paddhati 
that all those sahajiya people the in or what is the actual difference between that that the other persons who are sahajiyas that kind of vichar they have what is their actual difference in that in order to understand that that in order to understand that we just need to do satsang that kind of um, uh, efforts we are putting for doing satsang then definitely if we'll be have putting some efforts to do this kind of satsang we'll be doing uh, the putting the efforts to do sadhu sang then definitely you will be getting into the uh, should pure devotional uh, pathway maybe today or tomorrow you will get established in that pure devotional pathway there is no uh, doubt about it the thing which we were actually discussing previously shilar swarup goswami he is actually is a, a, a material poet who, who has come in front of swarup goswami by just hearing the by all the devotees have just uh, bhagwan das has just uh, told that you just need to hear the actual poem of that material poet and all the devotees should also hear that material poet swarup goswami was not at all ready to hear the that material poet but bhagwan das is actually the friend of swarup goswami and is a very nice vaishnav okay let me hear swarup goswami was speaking and by shriman mahaprabhu there is one kind of rules and regulation established before that if someone actually is coming and is just uh, speaking one kind of poet or some poem or some kirtan he just want to bhagwat related siddhant he wants to speak then definitely in order to test that kind of uh, poem or kirtan shri swarup gomadar gosai has to just test that first before mahaprabhu will listen to that swarup gomadar gosai is actually the adhikarta of all the godia sampraday that mahaprabhu has already given this kind of title to swarup goswami pad that's why swarup goswami pad that 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 without the approval of swarup samud swarup damodar goswami whatever someone is doing it is all useless that swarup damodar goswami that kind of vichar that the vichar of samud swarup damodar goswami that the koshti patra the kasauti the actual kasauti the koshti patra what is there still it is there now also by the kripa of prabhupad it will not get useless at all swarup gadamadar gosai what is there in his hands that godia vichar that kasauti koshti patra is there it is actually very strictly and firmly in the hands we can just speak firmly and tightly that this is the actual uh, siddhant and this is the fake siddhant and others don't have by the actual uh, and manifestation of the whole material world will not get uh, loosened up will be tighter and more tighter on the godia siddhant and swarup damodar gosai he is actually just by hearing bhagwan das acharya okay just bring that poet what he has written i'll just hear that and uh, after that that material poet just started uh, speaking about that poem that uh, all those uh, eternal parshad of mahaprabhu actually also hearing the same thing and swarup damodar also sitting there mahaprabhu is not at all there because this is the actual rules that if samut swarup damodar was speaking that okay it is good then after that mahaprabhu will be hearing uh, that uh, particular siddhant it's because it's already written there why this is If someone actually speaking Samra Sabhas and he is speaking all Siddhanta Virod, then Prabhu actually because used to become very angry, and it is a good point that he is becoming angry. It should be there. If you are not at all getting angry, then no bhakti is there inside you, because the whole, the whole, the whole protection of the sampraday, the whole protection of the sampraday is actually just just standing on this Siddhanta Vichar only. all the siddhant which are if, if it will go then everything will go in water in vain nothing will be uh, staying there so shila bhakti no thakur ji anushrit that rupanuk paddhati according to that all those sahajiyas 
those who are doing matwad that kind of difference is there of the other sahajiyas that we have to do the satsang according to that we just need to make the efforts to do satsang according to that then definitely you can understand that you can get establish yourself in the shuddh bhakti mark definitely you will get establish yourself in shuddh bhakti mark the thing i have already told you that is uh, of the prakrit kavi that prakrit material poet when he is actually speaking he already just made one mistake in the starting that in bhagwan that deha and dehi there is no kind of difference in bhag- that that what kind of body and the bhagwan himself is non different from each other that for each and every person each and every particular person that dehi and deha this is actually a different object it means that atma and the body don't have any kind of relationship with that that our shuddh atma pure atma we don't have any kind of relationship with this material body at all no relationship is there that is just the uh, uh, the grasping of maya magic of maya that's why for each and every jiva this body and atma is in, uh, different but for bhagwan it is not the case like that for bhagwan for bhagwan the body and atma is not at all uh, the same for bhagwan it is all the same the body each and every sense organ of bhagwan can do the work of the other sense organ indriyani yashya sakalendriya bhitti manti vashanti panti kalendri chiram jananti govindavadi purusham tamam jo govindo that govindo just by eyes he can eat he can he can just take the prasadam by his eyes by his eyes only he can just take prasadam and by the ears he can just see how it is possible yes it is possible for bhagwan only if you are finding it impossible then then in this material world there is one example regarding this by this example you can understand and this kind of uh, uh this kind of unbelief unbelief believable things you can believe in that like the snake is there that the snake the he in sanskrit it is called akshishrava the other name of snake the other name of snake in sanskrit is akshishrava akshishrava means the other name of snake is akshishrava why because by eyes snake can hear also he is using eyes to hear he can just uh, he can just uh, he definitely can hear with his eyes and he can also see with the eyes as well that's is why snake is called akshishrava that's why the name of uh, snake is akshishrava why because by his eyes he can just hear and he can see as well both things he can do and by the eyes he can just hear and he can see how it is possible yes it is possible this is the actual uh, nature of bhagwan this material nature and whatever rules and regulations are made all are made by bhagwan only that these things they can also see and they can hear at the same time with the one sense organ so like this if in this material world this kind of one uh, one uh, uh, species he is actually just can hear by his eyes and he can just uh, uh, see as well so it is not possible for bhagwan to do that thing so in this manner there is actually no doubt should be there regarding this because he is bhagwan so this prakrit kavi material poet he has just made one fault here that he has just made a, a distinction in parmeshwar that deha and dehi this there is no differentiation in that in the first line only the, he is actually become and sarup the mother of swami very much become angry are o oh, foolish you are actually making so much uh, siddhant virudh you are actually destroying yourself only you have just destroyed yourself only oh you foolish number 1 you have just destroyed yourself only how you I have just uh, speaking and mahaprabhu in and jagannath you are making a difference in the body and mahaprabhu himself you have done aparad in the starting only you just get lost that who don't have any kind of tatva gyan then if he will be actually speaking or uh, speaking or writing anything definitely naturally he will be doing a fault he will be having this kind of fault 
so this this, this kind of condition he will get in his life that he don't have any kind of tattva gyan and at the last he has just given this kind of upadesh that you go and just do the association of the devotees of gorang mahaprabhu you just need to do the association then only you can understand what is siddhant are you foolish number 1 you are actually just become a very big person and just writing a lot of things from where you have come and his uh, after hearing this his uh, just head just got down it it looks like as if that all 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 around there are hunts and in between there is one jackal and there is one bagula and after that he swarup goswami go swami has done kripa on you okay you have just uh, done wrong and from now on what you don't need to repeat this uh, fault so the krishna anushilan you can speak this is bhakti anushilan means that continuous practice continuous seva you are doing and anushilan the other uh, other meaning of anushilan is that shil the actual word shil that is called top 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 most respect anushilan anukhan seva it means that all the time sil for that sil dhatu you are actually uh, and that shri word it is just by actually getting uh, in a very uh, silent place with full prema you are actually just uh, getting yourself established in seva all the time continuously and silently this katha we have already heard for a very long time this we have already hearing it from very long time and this anukul what is there about this lot of vichar is actually going on what is anukul and what is pratikul what you what is not at all anukul what who will do this kind of vichar anukul is actually under krishna anushilan if there is some kind of slightest anya vilash is there if some touch is there it cannot be there at all slightest touch cannot be there not a slightest touch can be there prabhupada actually speaking this point the krishna nijo seva seva janno and seva janya santushti vidhan karna just to satisfy bhagwan that just to do the seva of bhagwan apart from that there is no other purpose or pathway you just need to follow and no other kind of desire should not be will not be there at inside your heart all just need to leave that and you don't need to just touch all these things dharmarth kaam moksha and if some kind of uh, uh touch is there then he is definitely it is hai to ki bhakti it is not called hai to ki bhakti that will be hai to ki bhakti if the touch of dharma arth kaam moksha is there our guru varg has just taught this point to us that the what is anukulya for the katha if i can just do a lot of uh, uh, meaning out of one word in rasam bhakti rasam sindhu glorification i was actually uh, speaking about the detailed description regarding this i have already done it because now the time is very less so that's why guru varg has just told us taught us that uh, anukulana krishna anushilam means just by closing your eyes just by closing your eyes you just have this kind of meaning that anukulya means radharani anukulya is radharani that anukulya the other other sadhu seva is also that anukulya this kind of vichar is different so who is actually anukul and who is pratikul but the one thing is definitely sure that just to do the shrimati radharani seva there is not even a single word you can just use that is the topmost word what i am using here that's why guru varg actually speaking that anukula radharani anukula radharani abhishta seva that that which is actually very much uh, uh, liking for krishna which is very much favorite for krishna apart from radharani no one actually can understand that that's why when shrimati radharani is actually just uh, just uh, speaking krishna that you just get lost from here she is speaking to krishna i don't want to see his face what does it mean actually 
जगदानंद प्रेम विवर दै हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इट लुक्स लाइक दैट इज लॉट ऑफ एंग्री मूड इज देयर बट एक्चुअली इज प्रेम देयर वाई यू हैव जस्ट कॉन टू दैट चंद्रावली वॉट वॉट शी नोज अबाउट योर सेवा दैट वाई यू हैवन कम टू मी वाई यू हैवन टेकन सेवा फ्रॉम मी दैट्स वाई शी बिकम वेरी मच अनहैप्पी एंड एंग्री इन द मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू कैन सी दैट देर इज एक्चुअली सम डिसकनेक्शन बट इन द अपराकृत जगत दैट काइंड ऑफ एंग्री मोड दैट संबंध बिकम्स मोर एंड मोर डीपर इन दैट यू कैन फाइंड दैट संबंध रिलेशनशिप बिकम मोर एंड मोर डीपर दैट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मटीरियल एंड द ट्रांसेंडेंटल वर्ल्ड यू आर गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर रिलेंटलेस सेवा ऑन टू द लोटस वीट ऑफ कृष्णा यू आर गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर डीपर दैट इज द दिस इज नॉट एन एक्चुअली एंग्री मूड ऑफ द मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज द एक्चुअल ट्रांसडेंटल एंग्री मूड वाई यू हैवन टेकन सेवा फ्रॉम मी वाई यू हैव गॉन देयर यू दैट्स वाई शी इज एक्चुअली जस्ट आई एम एक्चुअली फीलिंग पेन दैट्स वाई यू आर यू आर फीलिंग पेन बट आई कॉन्ट एक्चुअली बियर दैट सो दैट्स वाई आई एंग्री मूड इज देयर दिस इज एक्चुअली ऑल द प्रेमा द डीप प्रेमा अपार्ट फ्रॉम द प्रेमी प्रेमिक भक्त दे डोंट अदर्स कैन कॉन्ट अफोर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट दैट्स वाई शी लरूप गोस्वाई पाद शी लरूप गोस्वाई पाद हैज जस्ट रिटर्न हेयर दैट द एक्चुअल एक्चुअल स्पीड ऑफ प्रेमा इज जस्ट लाइक अ जिग जैक द एक्चुअल स्पीड ऑफ प्रेमा इज जस्ट लाइक जिग जैक लाइक अ स्नेक यू कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट प्रेमा इज लाइक दैट इज वेरी कुटिल कुटिल बिहेवियर very cruel intricacies there you can't understand that at all but shrimati radhanani just like so much uh, plain plain and straight nobody is there like uh, radhanani but krishna is very cruel he is very much smart he is very much smart but shrimati radhanani radhanani is so much straight forward so so straight forward gurudev always used to speak that ap- apart from that no what nobody can be more straight forward than radharani in this whole infinity brahmand just to do seva like that in a very straight forward mood you can just see the case of radharani how she serving krishna so whatever be the case bhagwan ka seva that to, for bhagwat seva you just need to show angry mood that is called prema that in this material world naturally it cannot be there in this material world at all this kind of bhava so so much ego and so much pain is she is feeling when krishna going to take seva from other that krishna has to take the lotus feet of radharani in order to just uh, uh, forgive him so this is the actual point of prema who can understand this is all the kind work of prema nobody can understand this and now actually we were discussing this point up till here that this kamanuga bhakti kamanuga bhakti we have discussed it yesterday as well a bit now we'll be discussing it in detail that raganuga bhakti is tole ha raganuga bhakti this raganuga bhakti that we are raganuga and kamanuga it is actually divided in that raganuga that is a general term kamanuga what is that and and this uh, sambandhanuga bhakti that is kamrupa that ragatmika bhakti that is actually naturally there in this is ragatmika bhakti of brajvasis what is manifested ragatmika bhakti it is there in the brajvasis naturally and under the guidance of those brajvasis that ragatmika bhakti under the guidance of uh, those brajvasis that ragatmika bhakti that is called ragatmika and raganuga and sambandhanuga that is called raganuga yes that previously i have discussed it already and raganuga bhakti is also categorized into two types one is kamrupa and one is sambandhanuga sambandhanuga nand yashoda etc all nand upanand everyone and kamrupa means that were gopikas related to gopikas that kamrupa this kam only this is actual seva only brajvasis gopikas under the guidance of go that kind of kama you can find what shila krishna's kaviraj goswami actually writing in chaitanya jitamrit regarding this what he has written what actually krishna's kaviraj goswami telling 
कृष्णा कबराज को स्वामी पास स्पीकिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ डिटेल डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग दिस यू जस्ट नीड टू वेट फॉर दैट यू डोंट नीड टू गो टू सहजिया फॉर दैट अदरवाइज योर होल लाइफ विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड कृष्णा कबराज को स्वामी पास एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग That for your own uh, uh, material benefit and material uh, happiness, you are actually doing that is actually called material kam. And just for the satisfaction of Krishna, whatever kind of kam you are actually explaining, that is called transcendental Krishna, Krishna may kam. That is called actual prema. in order to understand this point this is very far distant point we can't understand that that's why we are actually speaking under the guidance of vishuna chakravarti or ragvatan chandrika we are actually discussing that under his guidance ragvatan chandrika this actually written why actually has written ragvatan chandrika and what is the actual purpose of writing it and what kind of desire vishuna chakravarti pad has just desired inside his heart he already told that on his own that in shri ragmadam chandrika that kamanuga that what is the actual bhav of the gopikas and how we just need to get established in madhur ras and parikya ras that how actually is getting uh, uh, prema for krishna in for and unnat ujwal ras this kind of description we will be just discussing it here in details and uh, vishnu chakravarti pad actually has just uh, 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 manifested this point in front of us that i by writing this book i am not at all showing any kind of material bravery in front of anyone i have just taken the lotus feet of the shila roop ko swami pad and just by putting uh, infinity dandva down to his lotus feet whatever shila samre sindhu i have taken the support of shri bhakti samre sindhu or shila roop goswami pad previous uh, in the introduction only shila vishnu chakravarti pad has just uh, uh, taken this point in front of us from a uh, lot of time before we were discussing this point under the guidance of shila roop goswami pad in the samrit se bhakti ras samrit se to roop ko swami pad what are the three important shlokas it's written there lot of uh, time we have just discussed it in a very different different manner we have discussed that janan chastra krishna kya krishnan krishnan smaran janan chastra prishtam nij samhitam tat tat katha ratas cha aso kuriyat basam braje sada aur dusra seva sat सिद्ध रूपेण चात्र ही तदभाव लिप्सना कालजा ब्रजो लोकानुसार तीसरा है श्रवण वैदी भक्ति उदिता तू जानी अंगा चन्नत्र विज्ञया मनीषी भी and after uh, writing this all shila vishnu chakravarti pad especially speaking about inside ragvatam chandrika is giving one kind of commentary that here that it is my will that three kind of examples i have given here from rasamrit sindhu in this shila vishnu chakravarti thakur pad has just given one commentary that kamanuga paksh eva That in this ग्रंथ only that Kamanuga Bhakti I will be in order to understand that and in order to give the understanding of Kamanuga Bhakti that would the uh, what the actual uh, giving uh, uh, description I have given I will be giving that and in the other type also the description can be given it is not like that uh, Gopika Gopika's prem is the topmost. but still whatever other prajwasis are there they are all expressing absolute calm according to their own bhav that krishna das kaviraj goswami himself speaking this point that if we are thinking that uh, gopikas prem is topmost it yes it is definitely topmost but it doesn't mean that uh, nand yashoda maya their prem is not at all topmost their prem is also topmost 
and uh, Shridham Sudham Mangal. Their prem is not at all topmost, but that is also topmost. It's not like that. According to their own uh, bhava, what they are uh, possessing, it is they have the topmost bhav. Each and every person, what kind of special uh, rasa he wants, he is actually rasik of that particular ras. And if he is not at all thinking his ras to be the topmost, then uh, definitely that kind of uh, lower bhavna will be created inside his heart. The what kind of rasa he we are having, like Prabhupada always used to speak that this Prabhupada always used to speak. It means that accord, accord whatever Sadguru you have, not your Asadguru. I am not at all speaking about Asadguru. I will definitely talk about Asadguru. I just have divided it from the Sadguru category. Prabhupada always used to speak that uh, our Sadguru, our Sadguru is is actually the topmost uh, close one of Bhagwan. What Shila Vishwana Chakravartipad has just uh, given us the example regarding this. That. That according to your own Sadguru what you possess, that actual Sadguru what you have possessed in your life, that according to your in your life, that actual Sadguru you have just got in your life, if you have got that, then definitely you just need to think of him that he is the topmost of all uh, and is very close one uh, of Bhagwan that your Sadguru is. And apart from that, no one is more close. That is very much important to understand. And that by taking the prasad or kripa, you can understand 100% that you have got the kripa of Bhagwan. That who just by doing upeksha, that for infinity brahmand, they don't have any place to stay. Like Ramchandra Puripad, like Ramchandra Puri was actually through, has just disrespected Madhvendra Puripad, and that's why Madhvendra Puri has just divided him. Bro. And each and every person has just uh, disrespected. He has just uh, cut it, cut it down from the sampradha. But about Ishwar Puripad, if we are thinking, then that so much topmost Atmavat Seva he has done. It like it is like Atmavat Seva is like just like how to do the actual Guru Seva. He has just performed like that Ishwar Puripad. That so much topmost Atmavat Seva he has done. That so much Kirtan he has just given to Gurudev. So much prema, bha, prem bhav he has shown on to lotus feet of Gurudev that Gurudev has given everything, whatever uh, the topmost uh, name, fame, whatever transcendental treasure he has that Gurudev has just given to Ishwar Puripad inside his heart. That is actually possible for Gurudev. That Gurudev, by the kripa of that Gurudev, that we definitely can think that it is Bhagavad Kripa that is called Sadguru. That other kind of Gurus, they are not at all Sadguru. We are actually not at all thinking of any kind of other Guru who can't give this kind of Kripa to us. For each and every person, that for each and every person who is doing Bhajan, who, whatever Sampradaya is, whether it's Ramanuj Sampradaya, Vaj Vishnu Swami, Nimbarkacharya, whatever Sampradaya he is belonging from, each and every Sadak, uh, who is actually doing bhajan he just need to take uh, the guru charan ashray that he has to take uh, he has to uh, think that his gurudev is very close to bhagwan and if he is not thinking like that then that uh, he is actually thinking that uh, something more is than guru more is better than guru then his whole bhajan will get destroyed my gurudev that shila propa speaking that's why Prabhupada always used to speak this point, that's why. That this kind of darshanik vichar is very much important because for us, we have our relationship with our Gurudev. Bhagwan has already given us the actual relationship with Gurudev. If we are thinking my Gurudev is very uh, down and lower, then everything will get destroyed. So that's why Prabhupada always used to speak. Mannat Jagannath, Madguru Jagat Guru, Mannat Jagannath. 
भजन लाइफ बाई द कृपा ऑफ भगवान By the grip of Bhagwan Guru Dev, actually has taught us this point that you see that I am not your guru. Actually, I am not at all your Guru Dev. Prabhupada is your actual guru. By that we can understand that who is actually guru. That is Prabhupada. That uh, Shila Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. That is Kesha Goswami Maharaj. That I we can understand this point by that. So in order to get the realization, there should not be any kind of problem because in our life, if if there is actually shortage of bhav, then this nothing is more dangerous than that. If inside our heart there is actually uh, emptiness of bhav. then it is the top most dangerous thing in our life then that's why gurudev always used to speak again and again that that i am not your gurudev at all your gurudev is prabhupad and gurudev in each and every nerves of my gurudev that name of prabhupad is there all the time oh prabhupad like this he used to speak each and every sense organ of my gurudev and each and every blood vessel and cell where prabhupad is going on prabhupad prabhupad that's why in order to understand my life that who is prabhupad that is my gurudev my gurudev is just coming in the form of prabhupad prabhupad is coming in the form of my gurudev do the other kind of second which are is not at all coming in my mind that prabhupad has just come because gurudev is not at all speaking a lie to me gurudev is speaking the top most point in front of me that your gurudev is prabhupad only that is the top most point yes the prabhupad has come in my life uh, in the form of gurudev in front of me so that i can get rectified and i can get uh, delivered from my fallen condition so that's why this kind of vichar is very much important if it is not at all there then it is the our situation will be very dangerous so the three shlokas which i have already discussed yesterday i have just talked two to three times before and now today also i am discussing that you now you can understand by this point that shri lavishna chakravarti pa speaking krishna nijo krishna ka jo avilak that krishna ka jo avishth seva that the abhishth seva of krishna in which krishna is actually getting uh, topmost anand and satisfaction the topmost seva of krishna that krishna parikar that shila vishnu chakravarti speaking that i'll be discussing that only i am uh, talking about kamanoga bhakti okay you can speak about that because it is very much important but still uh, before that i can speak that if someone is speaking that ratak patak seva is actually useless no it's not like that ratak patak that according to their standpoint that according to their position all the time they are thinking that my seva is the topmost my res is topmost it means that the seres is topmost they are thinking okay and in someone's other heart that is sakheras is predominant and uh, it is staying there in uh, they are staying there in sakheras then they just need to do the bhajan according to the sakheras and krishna das kaviraj go swami pad also also speaking that each and every rasik devotee according to their own ras they are actually thinking their own ras as the topmost otherwise their secrecy of the ras will just get destroyed because inferior quality will come inferior conception will come inside there and their two uh, second kind of bhav will just arise there so that's why those who are shant bhakt ras devotees they are thinking that shantras is topmost and those who are uh, thinking dasya is topmost they are thinking uh, it has topmost like nitarand balram like speaking that apart from dasya he don't want to hear anything apart from dasya that uh, apart from dasya nothing is more topmost in chaitanya bhagavat etc you can see all this that but balram nitanand that uh, different on the uh, unique bhav of balram is there because balram is actually just playing with krishna when with all the uh, friends 
and Saka is actually playing, so that's why Vatsalir is definitely there in that. Sorry, with Sakkaras, we definitely should be there. So that's why it is there, present. And he is the actual big brother of Krishna. So because he is bigger than Krishna in age, so he that Vatsalaras is then naturally will be there with Krishna. So three kind of rasas are more predominant in Balram Ji Maharaj. Definitely, we can see that in Balram Ji Maharaj. But Balram Ji Maharaj. That uh, himself is actually accepting that I am the Dasya. Nitaran Prabhu also speaking the same that I want to just hear Dasya word. That's it. Dasya is everything for me. So if we are thinking according to our own estimation that whatever Ras is there, that according to his own Rasa, what he is established in, he is actually topmost. Krishna Skaviraj Goswami also speaking that in Madhur Ras, that all the kind of Rases, uh, other Rases are already present there. How it is possible? It is like that. Like that Panch Bhut, that about Panch Tan Matra, if you are discussing that, that Panch Tan Mantra, Tan Matra, what are the five elements? The actual uh, quality of the sky, what it is? The, that is the word Shabd. And Sparsh by touching. Sparsh means touching. What is the uh, topmost quality of touching? That Shabd, uh, that Shabd is there in Akash, word is there in Akash, but here that Sparsh is also there, touch is also there in that. That kind of material things, uh, word is there, definitely present. And with word, there is a uh, other thing is also present in there. Like the case, the Khiti Apotej Marudbam. Khiti means Khiti Apotej and Marudbam. All the four elements are already there. In Khiti Shabd is there, quality of a word is there, of the sky. And Apo means, Apo means, Apo means, inside that, this uh, vayu this air it is in this air what kind of quality is there that uh, uh, word and touch both is there i have just told you uh, the opposite sparad sparsh shabd sparsh roop ras gand all these four elements and uh, the other uh, one the other kind of visha is there in that all the qualities are already present there and at the last that khiti khiti what is there that is opposite i am actually speaking sabd sparsh roop ras gand i am speaking and if you are just thinking in reverse khiti khiti apotej marutbam i am not at all speaking opposite i am speaking the right way but i am actually habituated to speak like that so if you are uh, just having this which are from the opposite way that from e you can understand that in each and every vishay the other the quality of the pre- preceding uh, thing is already there in the next one you can find that and like that if you can just uh, think that uh, in uh, the sand in mud all kind of vishe all the kind of qualities five qualities are present in uh, this sand or in mother earth so like this kiti apo tej marudbam these four things like everything is there and in this uh, voice speech everything is there in that so like this if we can see then that the actual quality of a uh, sky is uh, a word that uh, tej is already there in that marudbam and like this this kind of vichar we have to make and accordingly we have to go forward so in madhur ras in madhur ras all kind of other rasas are entirely there automatically it is present there that kind of preparation is automatically there this preparation is so topmost then definitely it will be there like in madhur ras all the kind of rasas are already there collected in madhur ras externally you can see madhur ras but all the rasas are already just getting uh, established in uh, that madhur ras and so this which are we just need to understand more carefully and about brajavas also i have just discussed that kind of siddhru pain and this i have already just discussed and this also i have discussed so everything is discussed and covered up till now 
एंड एंड द साधक इन साइड इज बॉडी दैट काइंड ऑफ ही इज नॉट एट ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार है वॉल्स इट इज डन it that whatever is there inside the heart that kind of indication of the siddha swarup according to that he'll be serving uh, uh, radha krishna inside that kind of vishay will definitely come this what i have already told all those sahajiyas they are actually just giving the opposite kind of uh, vyakhya about this that this this uh, uh, the opposite vyakhya they are actually doing in in regards to this and this also i have just discussed brajo lokanu saratah mane hai it means that that uh, we we just need to do anusaran of brajwas is not the anukaran in anukaran definitely will destroy ourselves we have to do anusaran so that's why anusaran is very much important anusaran अनुसार था दैट वी हैव टू डू द अनुसार ऑफ ब्रजवासी विच पर्टिकुलर ब्रजवासी वी आर एक्चुअली लाइकिंग हिज पर्टिकुलर भाव दैट इन साइड अवर हार्ट वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ डिजायर दैट वी विल बी सर्विंग राधा कृष्ण लाइक दिस सो वी हैव टू फॉलो दैट यू हैव टू डू द अनुसार ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ब्रजवासी अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट ऑल द डिवोट इज एंड दैट साधक दे दे हैव टू डू द अनुशीलन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट like the case of rup ko swami pad externally you can see that he is the parshad of gorang mahaprabhu that writing parikrama kirtan everything he is doing externally but inside his heart that in fine form he is actually living in vrindavan and in the form of rup majri she is serving radharani it's like similarly in our gol gode sampradaya who is that actual topmost mahapurush are there everything everything has one idealism only that bhakti mr thakur also bhakti mr thakur in the form of bhakti mr thakur that is coming in front of us and there in the golokvindavan is serving as kamal majri shila prabhupad actually he is externally speaking and doing hari katha kirtan but internally that because he is actually nitya parshad no so internally he is actually serving radha krishna in the form of majri so they are not at all sadhan siddh they are nitya siddh so whatever be the case so this actually just by doing sadhan slowly steadily they are moving up those who are just going up by doing uh, slowly steadily sadhan for them they, this they are actually just putting one idealism in front of them like shila prabhupada actually just uh, putting one kind of idealism of radha govind they are so she sir he is serving in the form manjari in radha govind in nain mani manjari swarup she is actually serving radha krishna and in the other swarup they is uh, is serving gorang mahaprabhu shila bhakti sansar swati ko swami thakur prabhupad this swarup is also nitya if we are not at all understanding this as nitya permanent then uh, uh, this is a mayavadi concept and the prabhupad this swarup is also nitya and this nain manjari mandri nain mani manjari this swarup is also nitya लाइक गोलोक वृंदावन यू जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट केयरफुली लाइक गोलोक वृंदावन एंड गोकुल वॉट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस इन दैट और इट इज ऑल द सेम येस इट इज ऑल द सेम देर इज एक्चुअली नो डिफरेंट बिटवीन दैट बट स्टिल वॉट इज द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस भक्ति प्रो ठाकुर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग येस सम कंसेप्शन डिफरेंस इज डेफिनेटली देयर दोज पीपल हु हैव जस्ट हु ऑलरेडी हैव गेटेड दैट टॉप मोस्ट प्लेस how they, they can see golok they are, they are seeing go, in gokul the golok so and gokul is also nitya golok dham if lalita vishakha everyone is actually serving there then definitely they are actually serving there and uh, all others that from infinity brahmand वेर एक्चुअली भगवान लीला इज एक्चुअली जस्ट गेटिंग मैनिफेस्टेड अपार्ट फ्रॉम वृंदावन एप्टिल नवद्वीप और एल्स भगवान स्वयं एक्चुअली कमिंग एंड इज एक्चुअली सेंडिंग ऑल इज एटर पार्शद ऑन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड एट दैट टाइम वॉट विल है बिकॉज इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड बिकॉज दे आर एक्चुअली इन दिस मटीरियल डेफिनेटली फियर विल कम इन साइड दैम जस्ट बाई स्टेइंग इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड 
they are actually transcendental just in order to understand this word is very much difficult but in golok vrindavan this uh, bhakti mun thakur speaking that uh, just to take the prititi darshan of might is not at all there in golok here actually prabhupad uh, actually just got avir bhav here and slowly steadily prabhupad actually becoming uh, grown up and after that you can see that slowly steadily he has just taken the uh, uh, asana of acharya and slowly steadily he has just incremented his devotional life in front of us and bhakti mun thakur also you can see the thing in the similar way he has just got grown up here and in this infinity brahmand up till now that bhagwan prabhupad actually is five year leela is actually going on in some brahmand and in after fraction of second that the other kind of leela of prabhupad actually going on that is also nitya but it means that that the age factor of prabhupad what you are seeing here that is in infinity brahmand you are actually discussing that is also nitya you can understand the point what i'm speaking no you can't understand that each and every age factor of prabhupad each and every fraction of second like krishna each and every fraction of second leela in this infinity brahmand it is actually going on all the time that it is just like a wheel actually it's just moving putana putana has just uh just uh, in order some in some brahmand uh, putna leela is going on some brahmand ras leela is going on so like this mahaprabhu actually speaking to sanatan goswami that in the same manner that leela is actually nitya how leela can be get nitya it is like that all the time it is non stop and for if each and every age step we just krishna's leela is going every everything is going on for krishna in each and every brahmand so a lot of things are there regarding leela one is that that person who is all the time thinking of this point that slowly steadily he is actually just getting into the flow of this leela he, we can understand this that kind of uh, remembrance towards leela that uh, some sadhu sadhak sar just doing one uh, leela at a time like one uh, small stream of river actually coming from uh, the topmost lake so like there is uh, kaliya rad this is rad actually in the rad if there is actually still water in rad there is no no flow of water at all and some sadhu is actually just kind of full leela of bhagwan that flow of full leela in that what kind of leela he'll be seeing he is actually participating in that and some sadhu that kind of vishesh leela in that he is actually thinking all the time like that it looks like that he has just came from the lagoon or from the ocean there is so st- much stability in that and some uh, sadhu is actually thinking of yog beat that's why he is actually taking part in that so lot of things are there regarding this so that those brajavasis we just need to anusaran we don't need to do anukaran of brajavasis just by doing anukaran our whole bhakti life will get destroyed it means that all those devotees in the sadhak uh, body those who have just uh, done anugaman and just by taking the sadhu vesh he just need to just get established in the siddha day internally and just to serve radha govind that kind of anugatya seva he is doing all the time inside his heart shila rup ko swami pad externally you can see that he is doing a kadashi etc everything everything it is important necessary to follow and mahaprabhu will also do the similar things but ekadashi etc are not for them at all they can do whatever they want because in this sadhak devotee uh, body they are actually doing leela so that's why shila sanatan swami rup ko swami ji ko swami pad ragunath swami who so ever is there that praj parivar is there they are actually the actual parikara of uh, uh, gorang mahapru and also the parikara of radha govind but in the roop manjri swarup or whether you can see the sanatan swarup or that ragunath das goswami swarup ekadashi et sectra each, each and every vishay of bhajan the actual mode of bhajan everything they are actually following that
अप टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो गौरंग महाप्रभु गौरंग महाप्रभु हु इज एक्चुअली स्वयं कृष्ण ही इज ऑल्सो डूइंग एकादशी बट बट ही इज शी इज एक्चुअली राधा रानी सो इन गोलोक वृंदावन दैट इन वृंदावन राधा रानी इज डेफिनेटली देयर इन वृंदावन एंड ललिता विशाखा दे डोंट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ एकादशी एट ऑल सो देन वॉट टू डू जस्ट साधक एक्चुअली दैट डिवोट ही एक्चुअली इज शोइंग एक्सटर्नली एवरी थिंग दैट ही इज डूइंग भजन बट इंटरनली ही इज एक्चुअली एम टी शीला रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली रूप मंजरी इज ऑल द सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंट बिटवीन दैट सो लाइक दैट दैट इन साधक स्वरूप दैट ऑल दैट अनुगम मान ब्रज लोक बाई स्पीकिंग दैट दो इन वृंदावन they have just uh, taken up uh, the relationship with krishna and they have just got the uh, chance to serve krishna and all kind of questions are coming from different different places it is definitely there that nitya sit parikar they are and they definitely do some sadhan sit as well in that case in brahat bhavat it is already written that all those tantakaran nivasis munis and etc shutigan etc they are also staying in vindavan they have just got a place in vindavan and just giving their actual identity because in tantakarinya whatever rishi munis are there that what kind of uh, in order to just uh, exchange the madhura bhav at that time that maryada purushottam bhagwan ramchandra ji maharaj it is not at all it is uh, not possible for uh, ramchandra ji so that's why ramchandra ji was speaking that your desire will definitely get uh, fulfilled when i'll be just taking uh, the form of bahujan vallabh in vindavan uh, dham at that time it is possible so for this you no need to worry and you just need to take uh, birth uh, in the house of prajwasis definitely they have just taken the birth in prajwasis and all those rishi munis they have taken the birth in prajwasis and they are also becoming prajwasis just by taking birth are they are speaking uh, which village is baba is actually staying from which village is uh, baba is what is your actual age like this you can just get the understanding automatically it means that without taking any birth i want to speak that without taking any birth in order to stay in braj how actually uh, i am valuable to whom this kind of uh, uh, preacher introduction is not at all possible so that's why this this uh, did karan rishis what are there that uh, this is gopis are not out of, of one time the tribal gopi as there tribal gopis the different different kind of gopis are there very different different kind of vichar is there ha aadi bhil pulindo aadi pulindo all lower uh, persons who have just taken uh, birth in uh, lower family they are also gopis and dandakaran and rishimun is they are also gopis they have also just came in the form of gopis and shrutigan they are also This shlok I actually have already told. Shutigan, I have just uh, put the desire that we also under the anugatya of Gopikas we want to get that seva. So how you can get that seva? How you can get that seva? That we just need to take birth in Braj Dham. That Shutigan also are actually desiring to get the association of Gopikas. So Shutigan also just trying to take the birth. You see the case. So in this vishe, I'll be discussing it more and more. In on this vishe, yes. to yesterday tomorrow i want to just discuss it in more details because if someone if he can't understand the actual process that whatever we are discussing here that our prabhupad that our bhakti no thakur that our narottam no thakur for them they just need to leave their body and just need to take birth in vrindavan ha huh? 
दिस काइंड ऑफ विषय कैन बी पॉसिबल ऑन दिस वर्ष डेफिनेटली आई बी पुटिंग द इन डेप्थ डिटेल्ड डिस्कशन ऑन दैट सो ऑल दो दंडकर निवासी मुनिगण एंड श्रुतिगण ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑल द ब्रजवासीज इन देयर हाउस ऑफ ब्रजवासी दे हैव टेकन बर्थ इन देयर ब्रजवासीज एंड अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ ब्रजवासीज दे हैव जस्ट टेकन द आचरण ऑफ ब्रजवासीज एंड जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट सींग दैट इन ब्रजवासी दे आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू जस्ट टेक दैट भाव इन देयर ओन लाइफ दैट द अदर टू श्लोक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड यू थ्री श्लोक अज नो द फर्स्ट श्लोक देयर एक्चुअल थिंकिंग ऑफ द रिमेम्बरेंस टू वर्ड सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इट इज एक्चुअली टोल्ड एंड दर्ड इन दर्ड श्लोक दैट अबाउट द श्रवण कीर्तन अंग द लिंब ऑफ श्रवण कीर्तन एटसेट्रा वॉट वी आर डूइंग That limb actually is mentioned in the third shlok. That Shravan Kirtan etc. is actually mentioned in the third shlok. What actually it's written there? Shravan Kirtan adi ni baidi bhakti udita ni tu tani angani cha jan jani angani cha tani atro vikyani manishi. This actually being uh, uh, in the third shlok, it is already explained in uh, detail that Shravan Kirtan etc. is there. So this Shravan Kirtan, what is there related to Hari? That Shravan Kirtan which is related to Hari by this word, we can understand. that uh, where we have to do sadhan bhakti under the guidance of guru charan that we have to roop roop manjari don't need any kind of roop uh, guru charan ashray labang manjari gun manjari kamal manjari nayan mani manjari all these manjaris that don't need any kind of guru charan ashray at all but still shila roop go swami pad in you know, shila jeev go swami pad shila sanatan go swami pad shila raghunath das go swami everyone डोंट नीड गुरु चरण आश्रय इवन स्वयं भगवान ऑल्सो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु ही ऑल्सो डोंट नीड एनी काइंड ऑफ गुरु चरण आश्रय बट स्टिल ही हैज टू परफॉर्म दैट लीला ऑफ गुरु चरण आश्रय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु दैट हैज टेकन फ्रॉम अष्टवर्ग मुनि एंड रामचंद्र एंड रामचंद्र जी ऑल्सो हैज टेकन एंड भगवान श्री कृष्ण ऑल्सो हैज टेकन वट्स द नेम ऑफ दैट इन भागवतम भागुरी मुनि He has taken the diksha from so lot of vichar is there actually. So Bhagya Muni, he has taken diksha, and Purnamasi's son that he has just gone to Ujjain for Guru Kul. No Krishna, there also Krishna is actually getting knowledge of the Brahm. So Bhagwan also actually has to uh, adapt Guru Dev in his life. Without that, it is not at all possible. Without that, it is not at all possible. That kind of idealism. इट इज इट सांदीपनी मुनि इट इज द नेम इज सांदीपनी मुनि अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ सांदीपनी मुनि इन द आश्रम एट उज्जैन ऑफ सांदीपनी मुनि ठाकुर जी कृष्ण हैज ऑल्सो टेक अन नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग ब्रह्म समटाइम्स एक्चुअली कृष्ण स्पीकिंग टू दुर्वासा डेट माई गुरुदेव एज कम सो दिस एक्चुअली दिस इज एक्चुअल रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इफ भगवान विल नॉट शो दीज रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन टू अस देन हु विल शो अस दैट्स वाई शीला रूप गो स्वाईपाद द एक्चुअल थिंग दैट रूप मंजरी डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ गुरु ओनली श्री रूप गोस्वाई पाद इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रूप मंजरी इज हैविंग गुरु बट रूप मंजरी डोंट हैव एनी गुरु सो शीला विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती पाद एक्चुअली जस्ट मैनिफेस्टिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट श्रवण कीर्तन एटसेट्रा दैट बाय श्रवण कीर्तन वॉट एवर द वर्ड एक्चुअली वी आर स्पीकिंग इन दैट दैट बाय दिस श्रवण कीर्तन एटसेट्रा बाय दिस वर्ड देर इज वन इंडिकेशन दैट देर इज वन इंडिकेशन That to take Shri टेक श्री गुरुचरण पदाश्रय वी जस्ट नीड टू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ गुरुपाद पद्म अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्योर गुरु प्योर डिवोटीज वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो ईच एंड एवरी लिंब ऑफ भक्ति एंड हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट बिकॉज दैट 
When you haven't taken any ashray of Krishna Charan, in our life we haven't taken any kind of uh, ashray or surrender onto lotus feet of Guru Dev, then what we can do? We have to take uh, shelter of uh, pure Guru Vaishnava, no? So, to take uh, from starting from Guru Charan ashray, before that there is preliminary Sadhu Sangha, Adho Shraddhya, after that Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha is in two parts. One is preliminary sadhu sang and second one is uh, after taking diksha that uh, with Gurudev that uh, along with Guru Varga that kind of shraddha you are actually developing inside your heart and after that bhajana kriya is there after that anarth nivriti is there after that uh, nishtha will uh, develop and after that slowly steady will go ruchi and then like that so here actually shravan kirtana didi in the third slok by this it is uh, told that by Shravan Kirtan etc. all by this Vishay, that Shravan Kirtan Adi, this Adi, that word is used here, etc. is used. So, so all the uh, limbs of the Bhakti, it is already understood. We need to understand this point. So, Shravan Kirtan etc. all these words, by that we can understand that to take Shri Guru Padashray and uh, all those limbs of bhakti, we just need to follow that under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav. It is uh, very much important to follow those. So this uh, Shravan Kirtan Adi, the before is Shravan Kirtan is done, how? That there is General Shravan Kirtan. Shravan Kirtan also has two divisions. One is Gen- General Shravan Kirtan, that w- at what Leela when Bhagwan will be doing then he will be doing accordingly and the and the slok which I have started with that this which is very special uh, Brajwasi or Gopis you are actually liking that special seva that what kind of uh, exchange of views and laughing uh, uh, and this kind of seva they are exchanging with Krishna this is also one kind of a thing so General Shraman Kirtan, what you are doing in that for each and every person, whatever Leela Vichar we are doing according to that, also it can be done. And the other kind of Shravan Kirtan is very special under the guidance of Brajvasis. That kind of Shravan Kirtan is very much special. That, that Shravan Kirtan, etc., those sadhaks are there. When that uh, the person is actually doing bhajan at that time, that Shravan Kirtan when he is doing, this is actually sadhan for him. That at the time of bhajan, that whatever Shravan Kirtan you are doing, that is actually sadhan bhajan. This is a, this is my sadhan. But in the Siddha Vasta, when you are doing Shravan Kirtan, when the, at the Paramhan stage and in the Siddha Vasta, in the Siddha condition. Now in the sadhan stage, yeah, this is actually sadhan ang this Shravan Kirtan is. But at the Siddh or the Paramhan stage, at that condition, that those who are already Nitya Siddh Parshat and those who are sadhan Siddh, those who are actually in the Siddh condition, for them Shravan Kirtan is uh, Swayam Shraddha. That whatever sadhan they are doing in the preliminary stage, in the bonded state, but when they will be getting the Siddh situation, Siddh condition, Paraman stage, that will not be Sadhan, that will become Sadhya. Why? Because that Shravan Kirtan, by that, by the help of Shravan Kirtan, they are actually getting the Bhagavad Seva and they are taking Darshan of Bhagavad Seva, Bhagavan as well, like Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatan Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami has shown us the pathway. We just need to follow that. What they have shown us, that all the time, day and night, we, they have to do Sankirtan. All the time, uh, day and night, Kirtan is going on. Sometimes it is like that, that uh, Kirtan is all the time going on. It is non-stop. It is not at all breakable. It is unstoppable. So, in this condition, that kir- uh, Kirtan is going on all the time. That's why it is written in Shad Goswami Ashtakam. Sri 
चैतन्य कृपा भरो विभो भारावाहु भक्ति रूप सनातनो रघुजुगो श्री जीव गोपाल and in the second place what it is written purvak naam gaan nati bhi kalavasani krito nidrahar vihar kaadi vijito chatant dino chajo radha krishna guna smriter madhurima nandeno sanmohito bande roop sanatano rajugo shijib ko palko ta dekho so you see nidrahar shankapur so when we have to do sankhya naam and uh, that all parikram have nidra har everything they have just uh, uh, lost they are lost in naam sankirtan all the time everything they have just uh, lost they are lost in kirtan all the time not even thinking of eating also so this kind of shravan kirtan what the goswami jan are doing that kind of shravan kirtan what the actual vishay what goswami ad are actually doing in front of us they are developing one kind of uh, idealism in front of us regarding kirtan so is this kirtan is a normal shravan kirtan it is already written there you see all the time they are actually all the time busy in bhagavat seva and doing sankirtan so in the sadhan stage what kind of uh, shravan kirtan we are doing that is the actual limb of sadhan but when we will get that paramhans stage that sadhan uh, limb of sadhan will become uh, the sadhya vastu that what is actually attainable by sadhan that by sadhan what is that obtain attainable object is there that is called sadhya so you will get that automatically so by shravan uh, it is already written about this just by slowly steadily doing shravan he is actually going into the leela and slowly steadily doing kirtan also it, it can be done like that so the shravan kirtan by this uh, word we can understand that shayo tasmat krishna diksha di ikishno that this krishna tasmat krishna diksha di shikshanam adau guru pada shayo tasmat krishna diksha di shikshanam e jo so this is important point so our bhajan in our bhajan uh, line the uh, opposite uh, kind of vichar is actually going on first we will be taking guru charan ashray and then we have to do shravan kirtan but the first vichar is the most important first you have to take shelter of gurudev that what kind of uh, uh, gurudev you have taken shelter that we i am actually understanding that i am taking uh, him as the form of gurudev i am taking him that by taking his adarsh acharan idealism etiquette everything by seeing that i have just accepted him as a guru sadguru in my life that kind of uh, 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 desire has just uh, uh, taken place that that i can cannot speak like uh, that there is sadguru okay you can go there and i have just taken him there and this can also be the case that some sadguru is there and i have taken him there to the sadguru so if i have if i have taken him to sadguru to some place also and just have shown him that he is actually sadguru like i'll give you one example regarding this that our gadadhar pandit ji he a uh, mukund actually told okay uh, you, the, let us see one great vishnu great sadhu oh yes yes i will go with you and after that when gadadhar pandi uh, just went to pundarik vidyanidhi after seeing pundarik vidyanidhi what the what he has seen that so nice kambal he is actually just uh, uh, resting and very nice uh, bed is there of gold and uh, and like milk he has that white like milk very nice uh, uh, that and he after taking chewing pan and betel nut he is actually having uh, and uh, the upstairs there is very nice like uh, king and kings are actually wearing that kind of uh, clothes he is actually wearing and just like uh, a very nice king he is having uh, wearing clothes and his uh, uh, hairs are getting very very nice nice smell from the from the hairs of pundarik badan and flowers are there all around and just by seeing that gadadhar pandit externally seeing the position of pundarik vidyanidhi he is getting creating some misconception in his mind 
and gadadhar pandit actually is not he's foolish it's not like that he's just doing a leela in front of us so that we can understand what is the actual moral of from this so i immediately mukund ji actually just understand that uh, definitely i have just taken him that he's a big sadhu he is understanding that he is just pundarik vidane this is a material person he is actually normal material but so how can he be a sadhu eh? from here he he has come from uh, and after that slowly steadily mukund actually just started speaking one bhagavat shloka in front of gadadhar pandit and the second one the second is also second shloka is also there what i have spoken just by hearing that pundrik vidyane di just by hearing that shloka oh, at that time pundrik vidyane di was just mad by hearing that shloka particular shloka from mukund and after that just hearing that he is just become unconscious and where the actually the clothes were went and where the that uh, betel nut pot and where that very nice kambal has gone so this actually is been uh, sung by mukund and just by here uh, speaking that that automatically just fell down unconscious oh where is krishna is where krishna is i just want to take that that actually gadadhar pandit is just hearing actually i have just done aparad onto the lotus feet he is a very top most vaishnav he is a very top most devotee oh my god i have just done aparad onto the lotus feet pundrik vidani what to do that in that case now so that's why what they have just taken decision gadadhar pandit that though that that uh, lotus feet i have taken up uh, done aparad i definitely have to take uh, the shelter onto his lotus feet because he is my gurudev that inside the heart that kind of so much krishna prem is there he is actually jagat guru he is actually jagat guru no he is actually jagat guru ji yon krishna tatva betta baat baat par dhyan de just should be careful on this point what i am speaking and here actually i am not at all speaking what tatva it is actually a vishaya of prema the where actually the prema has come that uh, uh, that tattvaita is actually gurudev but uh, tattve tattve is already present there but also prem is also there which is the unique prem is also there in this because pundrik vidane is jagat guru so that's why our gadadhar pandit actually just uh, taken shelter on to his lotus feet uh, uh, as gurudev he is actually taking the shelter whether but you is can see that gadadhar pandit is radha rani herself and he has just taken the bhav of radha rani and tap the kanchan uh, color has gorang mahaprabhu has just taken that and uh, and that radha rani is there there so like this we can see that this shravan kirtan etc this is there this actually is a sadhan ang limb of sadhan this shravan slowly steadily by doing shravan what we have to do that we have to just uh, under the guidance of brajwasis we just need to uh, do our bhajan so under the guidance of gurudev whenever whether gadadhar pandit don't need any kind of gurudev but still pundrik vidyane ji becomes gurudev do that sampatti of krishna which is already there inside the heart of uh, uh, devotee it's already there so like slowly steadily all those munishis or uh, top most intelligent uh, persons knowledgeable personalities they are actually just making this kind of vichar and they are just presenting this in front of us this kind of vichar that which kind of bhava that just be careful on this point which kind of particular bhava that for that particular bhava in order to attain that 
particular bhava in your life that kind of efforts and you are making and uh, so, uh, just mistakenly that i should not go against uh, that bhava if it if i am going against then then everything will get uh, destroyed ruined so that's why it is very much important carefully you have to follow and second thing vishwana chakravarti was speaking that bhakti sadhan slowly steadily by doing that if uh, there two to one to two limbs of bhakti you are just uh, not doing in the way of bhakti lim, limbs of bhakti when you are performing that in that way that doing them sadhan limb of sadhan limb if you are doing and some limbs of uh, sadhan uh, bhakti you are actually not at all performing uh, it in that there is uh, no fault like the case shila gor kishor das baba ji maharaj started doing uh, mala all the time if you are doing that his aarti has just got left he is not at all uh, doing aarti it's complete it is completely wrong if you can see the actual point that all kinds of topmost uh, paramhans vaishnav they what is what is their actual symptom that they are doing shravan kirtan and they are uh, doing naam sankirtan all the time and they don't have any kind of interest for other kind of sadhan sadhan limbs it doesn't mean that they are actually uh, just avoiding that it's not like that this is the actual symptom of paramhans vaishnav if you can see externally that uh, in their life that shravan kirtan smaran that three uh, limbs of sadhan bhakti apart from that these are the topmost for them and for other limbs of bhakti they don't have that much interest if uh, some kapat bhav some kapat bhav they are speaking that we also have some kind of shravan kirtan uh, remembrance we are having attraction for that then it is not the case as compared to that of the paramans vaishnav and the other important thing which is very much important in this case is that that under the guidance of lalita sakhi we are actually doing something like the case shila bhakti no thakur actually speaking it it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that that bhakti no thakur ji is swayam uh, his he, he he himself becomes lalita sakhi bhakti no thakur is not teaching us like that some some other uh, like lalita vishakha it is not at all uh, good to just think like that if you will think like that then you will destroy yourself we don't need to anu- anukaran we just need to do anusaran we will become lalita herself we will become like that it is not like that we don't need to imitate lalita ji we just need to take the mood and bhav we just need to take siddhi in that kind of mood and bhav so a lot of vichar is there regarding this what kind of understandability we have to uh, take and how we have to do sadhan according to the particular brajwasi and how we can become siddh it means siddh means that how after leaving this material body uh, that uh, you will be getting swarup siddhi and after that you will get the vastu siddhi that bhav that uh, your topmost permanent bhav you will just get uh, uh, established in that स्वरूप सिद्धि इज आफ्टर दैट इज वस्तु वस्तु सिद्धि दैट सिद्धि विल यू विल गेट इन योर लाइफ सो दिस थिंग एक्चुअली हेयर भक्ति इन भक्ति साधन इन सम काइंड सम सम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग then in that uh, no no kind of fault will come why because he is already there in bhajan only if some person is doing uh, naam sankirtan and is doing uh, mentally he is doing parikram and ex- externally he is not at all he is going to par- parikram but he is going very less but mentally he is doing parikram so vastu siddhi that vastu siddhi first is sadhan sadhan siddhi first is sadhan siddhi after that when you are living body at the time of living body that vastu siddhi you are getting and that swarup he will just get established and he will be just getting manifested in his particular shiva there in golok and this is uh, we have talked here about sadhan siddhi the vote is so in the way of the sadhan uh, limbs of bhakti that some kind of uh, limbs of sadhan you are not at all performing sometimes in that there is no kind of fault at all if in in bhagwat ji mahapuran also in bhagwat ji mahapuran also that nimi maharaj and navyogendra in navyogendra nimi maharaj samvad discussion between nimi maharaj and navyogendra ji 
in that it is actually mentioned this is actually mentioned there that kind of uh, which are or which is actually mentioned there what it is written that there actually it is written हे राजन दैट इन द वे ऑफ भक्ति दैट एक्चुअल परमानेंट भक्ति इन द वे ऑफ एक्चुअल परमानेंट भक्ति जस्ट दोज हु आर मेकिंग एफर्ट्स टू गेट आउट फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल बॉडी जस्ट टू फॉलो दैट भागवत धर्म आफ्टर जस्ट बाई टेकिंग द आश्रय ऑफ भागवत धर्म एंड जस्ट स्लोली स्टेडली गेटिंग एस्टेब्लिश इन भागवत धर्म दे विल नेवर एट ऑल फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम और डिफिकल्टी इन देयर लाइफ दे विल नॉट एट ऑल फेल इन टू एनी काइंड ऑफ डिफिकल्टी ऑफ मटीरियल डिफिकल्टीज वॉट डज इट मीन एक्चुअली अप टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो इट इज टोल्ड दैट एट द पैथ वे ऑफ भक्ति जस्ट बाई क्लोजिंग योर आईज इफ यू आर जस्ट मूविंग इन द वे पैथ वे ऑफ भक्ति प्योर भक्ति दैट जस्ट नीड टू रन फॉर दैट you just need to slowly and steadily walk but you just need to run like a whirlwind towards that uh, topmost bhakti that's why this this shlok is very much important jana sthayo means that by that dharm when you are taking the shelter of that particular bhagavad dharm if some person actually a rajan he will not get uh, into fallen condition at all and if actually is just uh, closing his eyes he will definitely will not fall down from his actual position that kind of prasang will not at all come in his life just by closing his eyes he can follow that particular pathway of pure bhakti and he will not get uh, uh, fallen down from the actual pathway of pure bhakti bhagwan also to shriman uddhav ji maharaj speaking like this only hai uddhav that this kind of uh, parikram of dharma and the actual anushthan from where actually starting whatever he has uh, gone up till this point he definitely not at all fall down definitely he will get the opportunity in his next birth but he will not fall down from his position so what's the, what's the point in that you just need to understand this point really well if actually is unsuccessful in any condition to get up till that point then he also don't have any kind of fault bhagavatam actually is just confirming this point what actually is told in bhagavad gita puran that now navyendra ji speaking to nimi maharaj about this point jano asthayo naro rajan na pramadit kar hi chit dhavan nimillu va netre na skalit na patit ho ho gaya so now it's done like that and uddhav ji maharaj actually speaking to krishna upakrame na hi ango upakrame dhangsho mad bhakte bhakte ruddha van upi iti this actually it can be done like that by that we can uh, that kind of confidence can come inside us that kind of self confidence can come that in each and every condition maybe uh, unknowingly and some kind of condition can be done that we it is some kind of katha was actually just uh, uh, just uh, you are not at all hearing and you are actually feeling very pain inside your heart and just by awesome. hearing that bhagavatam that kind of desire again you are getting that okay no problem in that so just by closing your eyes and just by following that pathway it what does you mean by just closing your eyes by closing your eyes means that that different kind of barriers what is there in the way of her bhakti that our rules and regulations lot of things are there when we are actually there in this material world just by actually removing that if we are going towards that pathway of actually pure bhakti by following nidhi and vishe directly and indirectly we are following the rules and regulation of shastra as if we are moving forward then kind of different different kind of things it is not at all required that we we can just uh, remove that and can we cannot uh, by removing that also we cannot uh, get fall down from the actual pathway of pure bhakti it is not at all possible so ekantiki bhakti about that 
लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ भक्त लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स प्रभुपाद जी एंड भक्तिम ठाकुर हैज डिस्कस्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ श्री लरूप गोस्वामी पाद ऑल्सो हैज जस्ट टोल्ड अस अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग दिस एज वेल एंड श्रुति स्मृति पुराण एक्सेट्रा सो दैट इज उत्पात दैट श्रवण दैट श्रुति स्मृति दैट वॉट दैट ऑथेंटिक ऑथेंटिसिटी इज देयर वॉट इज देयर रिटर्न इन द श्रुति स्मृति वॉट इज देयर रिटर्न इन द शास्त्र अंडर द गुरु अनुगत्य वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट वी वी आर फॉलोइंग दैट अंडर गुरु अनुगत्य लॉट ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन आर देयर दैट श्रुति स्मृति पुराण एंड पंचरात्र ऑल्सो महाप्रभु एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग एज जस्ट गिविंग सो मच रिस्पेक्ट इन दैट टू पंचरात्र एज वेल दैट वॉट एक्चुअली रिटर्न बाई श्री नारद जी महाराज हिमसेल्फ दैट काइंड ऑफ शास्त्र नारद जी महाराज एक्चुअली इज राइटिंग दिस पंचरात्र वेरी नाइस स्मॉल शास्त्र बट दैट इज टॉप मोस्ट बट महाप्रभु जी एक्चुअली एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दैट पंचरात्र दैट श्री मत भागवत जी महापुराण वॉट इट इज रिटर्न it is actually equivalent to what is written in the panchratra mahaprabhu actually speaking that whatever the rules and regulations and siddhant which are written in panchratra it is already there in shrimad bhagavatam it is all the same that panchratra what siddhant actually speaking that the same siddhant actually written in shrimad bhagavatam that mahaprabhu has spoken to us so whatever be the point now actually that by our own self that shruti smriti puran panchratra by our own we are not at all actually thinking of that we will be starting our own bhajan by this this is not at all bhajan at all that shruti smriti puran etc panchratra vidhim vidana this is actually whether it is not at all raganuga and it is not at all rupanuga it is just uh, your own misconception what you are creating everything you are destroying in your own life and without any guru anugatya janu asthayo janu asthayo means that uh, in bhagavat dharma inside that what kind of shravan kirtan etc that uh, you are taking the particular uh, limb of that particular sadhan bhakti just by taking that ashray of that particular sadhan ang it means that that we have haven't taken any ashray and we are just making one drama externally we are just making one external drama then everything will get destroyed so where asthaya matlab jano asthaya means that by shravan kirtan that kind of topmost ashray you are taking of shrimad bhagavatam under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav when you are doing shravan kirtan smaran etc you are taking the ashray of that shravan kirtan and after that if you are just removing one bhajan ang then there is actually no fault in that there is actually no fault you will not find any kind of fault in yourself so that kind of shruti shruti puran what is puran etc panchratra what is actually written in the shastra what kind of uh, different kind of uh, 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 targets which is written there that under the guidance of guru varg what the pathway shown by our gurudev uh, in the way of pure bhakti in the pathway of pure bhakti and not uh, external drama they are showing that kind of utpath it will become a question of utpath that is not at all bhakti it will just be a one way of destruction for you that pathway will definitely going to destroy your yourself and your bhakti and by that nothing will happen in your life up till this point i will be just uh, uh, just uh, giving rest up till this point today so i am not at all feeling any anand that what kind of situation actually coming i don't know only bhagwan knows so just uh, forgive me i'll be just giving rest up till this point भुक्ति मुक्ति स्पृहा जावत पिशाची हृदय वर्तते तावत भक्ति सुखस्य अत्रु कथम अभूदयो भवेत वांचा कल्पतरुष के पासिन्दु व्यवच्छ पतितानं पावने भो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो